everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now I've got a couple of exciting projects coming up very, very soon, uh, but I've got some customer orders which I need to get sorted uh, this weekend. So I've got a piece of olive ash here and the client would like a salad bowl. So salad bowl instantly, easily to maintain uh, and food safe. So that's gonna be our priority on this one. So we're gonna mount it with a worm screw and then we'll get started. Just find the center first. This is quite a big a bowl blank for our lathe, so I'm going to use tail stock support at the start. I'll keep us nice and safe. Already sharpened up. So we'll get started. It's going nice and smoothly. Now in terms of design, I want to take this curve in just a little bit more. A nice gradual increase on the size of the slope. And then a rim here and then into the recess. But so far so good. I'm just going to bring the tail stop back in for a second just so I can sort out this outside curve a bit better because as soon as I took it away the unevenness of the top has uh, given it a bit of a vibration. I've done the bits I needed to do around there so I can safely put it back in, sort out that out, take it away again and then put the recess in. get this outside just right before I uh, put the recess in. <clears throat> something very definite on the uh, oh blimey there's something very much strange on the weighting of this bowl that's uh, kicking it out quite a lot so I think I'll try and go over here again if not yeah, we've got a lot of ingrain problems there right I'll go over it again if I can't solve it with the gouge and I have to solve it with sanding but I'd much prefer to solve it with a gouge. Right, 
I think I'll just do one more sharp look. Give me every advantage of, I can get. Start sanding as usual. I'll let you see a start of it, but then I'll uh, I'll finish off by myself. beautifully high grit it's nice and smooth I'm going to give it a bit of a clean with isopropyl actually no I'll give it a clean at the end with isopropyl we're not uh, finishing this quite yet we're going to put all the finish on at the end so we'll get this turned around very important tailstock at the start you know the reason why as far as we can with the tailstock so we'll take that away now so let's check the thicknesses again okay we're doing all right i've got plenty of room to put the finishing cuts on let's take away this little center We'll sort out this edge. <clears throat> then a few final cuts on this centre and then go in with the scraper. And then it's ready for sanding. Get the scraper in there, sort out those cut lines, and then we can sand. Right, 
favourite part of the day, sanding again. Right before you can watch the start, and then I'll bring you back at the end. to put the finish on this. Right, I'm going to clean it off with some isopropyl and then we'll set up for putting the finish on. Okay, that's our time to dry. So the finish we're going to put on is the, uh, the mix we made up for the shot glasses which is a, uh, a heavy uh, linseed oil to a beeswax mix. It was seven parts linseed oil uh, to, about, to one part beeswax. And this is gonna nourish the wood. It's gonna protect it. It's gonna waterproof it. And of course it's completely food safe. I'm gonna put a fair amount of this on. Okay, I'm going to buff this in and let it sit for a little bit and then I'm going to put another coat on. Okay, I'll let this sit, I'll put another coat, buff it and then we'll take a look at the finished article. I'll bring you back in a second. And there we have it. A beautiful olive ash salad bowl. Food safe, easy to look after. And it should give many years service. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this one. It certainly is a very, very interesting and remarkable wood, ash. You never really get two pieces the same. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, please feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. If you leave a comment as well, then you are going to be entered into the giveaway uh, when we get to the 16th of March, which is our one year anniversary. But apart from that, thank you very much indeed for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.